Are you thinking of building a new PC soon, or maybe just upgrading the one you have? If you are, then there's a good chance most of your focus will be directed towards the CPU and GPU. Of course, these are important components that deserve your attention, but don't overlook storage. I'm often surprised by viewers who share their build plans with me, not because the build itself is bad, but rather it neglects what I believe is the most essential component of any modern PC, a solid state drive. Yes, yes, I know, SSDs don't equal more frames per second, and if all you do is game, then they aren't vital. Still, for what's now a relatively small price, they significantly improve the PC experience with those glorious 0 millisecond access times. Having now used an SSD for a number of years myself, going back to a mechanical drive isn't an option. Thankfully, no one needs to bother themselves with the grinding soundtrack of a spinning disc anymore, at least not for their primary drive anyway. SSD pricing has improved tremendously over the past few years and this is mostly due to fierce competition in the marketplace. Oddly though, it's created yet another problem for would-be buyers. With so many seemingly affordable SSDs on offer, which one should you buy? Well, I've spent the last few days researching that very question. Luckily, I have access to almost all modern SSDs, so I'm able to give you my first-hand opinion. So, with that, let's make some picks. For this video, I'm just selecting a few 2.5-inch SATA SSDs that I feel give the best bang for your buck. For higher end 2.5 inch and M2 SSDs, I'll create a follow up video soon. My selections will take things such as cost per gigabyte, performance, power consumption, features and warranty into account. At the top of my SSD buying list is the new Kingston SSD Now UV400. Performance wise, the series delivers speeds of up to 550 megabytes per second read and 500 megabytes write, along with great endurance figures. Of course, this is a TLC drive, but that's to be expected at this price. The price being just 60 US dollars for the 240 gigabyte model or 110 US dollars for the 480 gigabyte model. Down under, pricing is just as impressive. Us Aussies are paying just 85 dollars for the 240 gig model or 50 dollars for the 120 gigabyte model. In an effort to sweeten the deal, Kingston are also backing these drives with a 3 year warranty, so that's good for peace of mind. If you can't afford it, I recommend the 240GB model as it's considerably better value than the smaller 120GB model. Priced at just 25 US cents per gigabyte, it's hard to beat what the UV400 offers right now. That said, coming close is a drive that I initially recommended viewers avoid, at least until reliability was proven. Now over 8 months later, the OCZ Trion 150 has proven to be a huge improvement over the previous version. The 240GB model, which is again the best value option, costs just 65 US dollars or 90 Aussie. Performance wise, it's also much the same and again uses TLC NAND flash memory coupled with a decent endurance rating. OCZ, who are now owned by Toshiba, seem to have cleaned up their act and offer this affordable model with a 3 year warranty. The king of the TLC hill is the SanDisk X400, offering greater performance than both the Kingston and OCZ drives. It's also backed by a 5 year warranty. Unfortunately, the smaller 128GB model and 256GB models aren't cost effective. The 256GB model is priced at 80 US or 125 Aussie for example. That said, if you're after a 512GB or 1TB model, then the X400 does emerge as one of the better options, and at these capacities I do recommend it over the other TLC based drives. Finally, for those of you that don't like TLC drives, the best value MLC option right now is Mushkin's Reactor Series. The 256GB model is priced at 80 US, though be aware these don't seem to be available in Australia. For my fellow Aussies, the SanDisk Plus is exceptional value at $90 for the 240GB model or $160 for the 480GB model. The same 3 year warranty applies though, so be aware of that. There's certainly some great cost effective SSD options available now and I see no reason why any PC enthusiast wouldn't be running one in their system. On a final note, I will say that while an SSD is great for dramatically improving OS boot times, application load times and increasing the general snappiness of a PC, you don't need to spend big. The low cost options listed in this video will be indistinguishable for the average user when compared to an extreme M2 NVMe drive for example, so keep that in mind. Have you made the switch over to an SSD? Let me know in the comments, I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys for joining me for another episode of Hardware Unbox. To those of you that already support the channel, thank you so much, it's truly appreciated. And to those of you that would like to support the channel directly, I do have Amazon links and a Patreon link in the video description below. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.